sir maichiwo ni weche gi mag somo penjo ma ochwal ne mwalimu rero ang wayudo ane kanyo kama ang wayudo gi achiel ka chieli kona kapo kabiro iri njire nganyo mano mag, uh, jo, mago mag uh, clinical officers e county ma kisi iko na kanyo wanya yudo ane achiel ka chiel sani kawa nchie kanyo koda crispin otieno Angeni sana ogi loso achel kachel. Wanja winyane karagi uoyo kaito bangi. Angodogo wadi nyime kod penjo. Mwa penjo kama murino kala. Mwa pachi. To ensure that Kenyan can get services. I think it is a long history. And it's good to say it that the union has been engaging the employer since 2017 on the CBA issue. And they have not been willing to finalize. We went to court in 20, I mean on strike on 2019. The court ordered us to go under conciliation. The conciliation was done and the government did not cooperate. That is the report which is in court. In 2021, we again went on strike and we negotiated a, a call allow, a, 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 an enhancement of the risk allowance for clinical officers from 3,000 to, uh, to 15,000. That is an, enhance, uh, an increase of around 12,000 which when you do the mathematics we only need around 900 million every year to cater for this agreement but they have not been able to implement therefore we are not asking for any extra money we are only asking the government to meet their end of bargain so that we can go back to work in the year 2023 again we the court ordered the employer to come back on the negotiating table and that court order are still effective, but the employer has disobeyed, specifically the county government, have disobeyed those court orders, that they were not able willing to go to, go to court. This year, I mean, uh, uh, this year, yes, on, uh, on 9th May, again, we had a meeting. We, I mean, we had a court order, which has now, to the effect of, of this trick, has prohibited the employer from victimizing, intimidating, or harassing any clinical officer. And the father stayed any disciplinary process that had been in, uh, started or intended to be started that is informed by virtue of this strike. And also this strike, I mean, the, 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 the said uh, I mean, uh, punishment, I mean, uh, disciplinary process is about stoppage of salary, is about shokos letters, is about transfers, which, is, uh, which are arbitrary, is about the motion and the court has said all those processes must be stopped unfortunately you will find a county government like kikisi which is still disobeying this court order and have not paid our members up today and a number of other counties like homa bay also they are on this ladder and we are saying as clinical officers we will not be intimidated to go back to work we are not visitors in this country we are here as Kenyan exercising our constitutional right under Article 33, 41 of the Constitution to ensure that Kenyan can get the services they need. And also, we are actually more of the proponent of the government to, to implement the promises that they give Kenyan. The Kenyan government currently, Kenya Kwanza, promised to employ 20,000 healthcare workers. It is one of our demand because most of these counties, they do not have enough staff. The Auditor General Report 2021-2022 facility, there is no level four that has the requisite number of healthcare workers. A majority of them they are doing halfway because the required number is 323. A majority of them they have not more than 117, between 117 and 130. So that is to mean we have a dire shortage which we need them to employ. So this should not be even our agenda. It should be the agenda of the government because in any case they are the one who collect our taxes and they want to implement them. They want to utilize them to offer services to Kenya. The other thing that is a sticky issue, that any time we wake up and they realize that we have a government that is willing to discriminate, it is only citizen, by putting them on different discriminatory terms like the UHC, deliberately for four years, paying them a peanut of around 50,000. But they tax it. They tax it to where they, they earn around, uh, around uh, uh, 30,000. And those who are paid 40, they tax it again, they earn around 20. So the, in any case, they give it in, on the right hand and they take it on the left side. 
So these people, they cannot even afford meals. They can't even afford committing to work. They have been reduced actually to be beggars. They can't, they have every problem because in any case they don't even have a medical cover. Whenever they are sick, and some of them have been losing, they have even taken their life by virtue of being exposed to this mental anguish. We talk about depression. Currently, those who have gone to WHO, the discussion there is about mental issues. But what is the index in Kenya? When we talk about over 2 million people having, a mental dep uh, uh, having a depression, does it, uh, does it include the healthcare workers? We believe the numbers should be high by virtue of the government exposing them. And that is why we are saying the government must, must be able to allocate resources to transition the UHC staff who bailed this country when we were suffering and we were being hitten, uh, I mean, beaten by the COVID-19 and they lost life. The only benefit they can get is for them to be put on permanent and pensionable. If that doesn't happen, I don't think we have a, we have a luxury of continuing to work. We must be able to sustain our strike and ensure that the government be responsible and prioritize the issues of health. Because these people are sick. How will they treat other, other Kenyans if they are themselves sick? So that is the issues that we are engaging in. For instance, the government have shown that they can violate any law whenever they want. We have a clear structure on how to pay interns. They decide not to pay. They come up with other formulas that are not are baseless in any case. And we say that if this is the kind of, of leadership that we have, then we have no obligation, uh, uh, even us as clinical officers or any Kenyan, to continue paying any worker because the failure of any government, the failure of any, uh, any country is actually disobedience of laws and the order. And if that is what is, shall, shall continue to happen, I do not think that uh, any worker should continue celebrating. We should be out and agitate for our right. Because you have seen the appetite for taxation, where no one gets an increment. Actually, they, have, they, they came up with this thing we call wage bill, uh, wage bill thing. But we know who earns a lot in this country. These are the political class. These are the leaders who now cannot even seek services in our public facility, who do not know Kenyan are suffering. These are the people who talk about wage bill, and they know they are the ones who take it home. Let us put figures. For instance, a majority of the clinical officers do not even earn uh, more than 50,000. A number of them earn 70. When it is taxed, they take around 39,000 home. So if this is the kind of taxation that we want to engage in, we can only appreciate in terms of translation to services or even we be then our salary be increased to, to in tandem with the rate of taxation so that we can now continue now all of us saying that we are Kenyan. Nyakura Mugejwa Mago Clinical Officers, Karari Rogno Mano Mara, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, Mapachuka, Kaonogi, Teronga Nyomargi, Madinyime, Odojo Diuchieng, Mara, Prabich, Kodo Chiko, Pachuka Nyakura Mugejwa Ngiti Yusuptendi Mopokoro Pogure Nyakasani, Pogi Chope Winjiruwok, Ni Duachigi Gin Mage, Tunegu Beni Chopugiwe Machalnade, Negine Kache County, Shumamuranga, Kaonogi, Tie County, Makisi, Kendo Crispin, Otieno, Luo Wach, Nwa Nwa Bedu Kodu Ngeo, Nwa Nwa Temore, Kinde Mabiro, kawarange ka chel ka chel dange ada er marni wadinyime kawarango weche magsomo tayenya kamurino kal poko duoko penyo